Introducing System Variables Information about your scenario, current execution, team, and organization is now available in reusable elements that can be mapped to any module. Simply click on a module field, open the Custom and System Variables tab, and under the Scenario Variables section, click on any element to add it to the field. System variables can make error handling and scenario activity tracking easier and faster than ever before. Here's an example. In this scenario, an error handler root has been added at the Slack module. In the case an error occurs while this module is being executed, a new row will be created in a Google Sheet, with the goal to keep track of the error and all the information associated with that particular scenario execution. The information about the scenario execution is mapped to the new spreadsheet row using system variables. Knowing the scenario name, ID, and URL can help you instantly identify where the error came from. The execution ID and execution start date will help you dive deeper into your scenario history logs and find the execution that caused the error, so you can resolve any issues and make sure that it doesn't happen again. System variables can also help you keep track of how many operations your scenarios consume and interrupt executions that are operation intensive. Here's an example. This scenario retrieves all the newly updated records from an Airtable base, and for each one, performs a series of actions. A filter has been added after the HTTP module to check if more than 20 operations have been consumed up until that stage. The number of operations is retrieved using the Operations Consumed System variable, which is mapped in the Filter Condition field. In the case where more than 20 operations are performed during an execution of this scenario, the filter condition will not be met and the scenario will be interrupted. Ready to try out system variables and apply them to your own automations? Click the link below to learn more.